Good evening. Welcome to our weekly tarot reading. Readings are posted each Friday. This reading is for the week following November 22nd, 2024. Before you begin your own reading, cards should be shuffled with intention and placed off to the side. We will be using the traditional Celtic Cross 11 card spread and we will not be observing separate meanings for cards in their reversed positions. Let's get started. The first card in our spread today, representing you, the tower. The second card, representing what surrounds you, the three of swords. The third card, representing what blocks you, the eight of pentacles. The fourth card representing your foundation, the two of cups. The fifth card representing what is behind you, the two of swords. The sixth card representing what crowns you, the three of wands. The seventh card representing what is before you, the Knight of Pentacles. The eighth card representing how you present yourself. The Six of Wands. The ninth card representing how others see you. The Knight of Wands. The tenth card representing your hopes and fears. The Ace of Swords. The eleventh card representing the final outcome. The Four of Cups. The first card in our spread today representing you, the Tower. This is the card of crisis. You need to revolutionize an important aspect of your current situation. You may feel so desperate that you are willing to upset everything and everyone to end this crisis. Volatile or nervous energy may be suddenly released. The second card in our spread today, representing what surrounds you, the Three of Swords. This is the card of sorrow. You are surrounded by the potential to know pain and sorrow. Denying it can lead to loss, hostility, and disease. It is time to protect yourself. Defenses are weak and must be strengthened. Do not let the problems of another affect you right now. The third card in our spread today, representing what blocks you, the Eight of Pentacles. This is the card of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship, or a lack of it, blocks progress. You may be too much of a perfectionist and not enough of a practical person. Lack of detail and artistry may make things look crude. A finicky person may be the problem. The fourth card in our spread today, representing your foundation, the Two of Cups. This is the card of romance. Crucial to your situation is your ability to be part of an open, nurturing, and supportive relationship where heartfelt emotions are exchanged freely. This relationship may be romantic, familial, or even a business relationship. Very few things are more valuable than this. The fifth card in our spread today, representing what is behind you, the Two of Swords. This is the card of balance. Past achievement of balance or the lack of it affects the present situation. It was important that a break be taken from the usual way of thinking, seeing, and doing. Compromise and diplomacy were needed. The sixth card in our spread today, representing what crowns you, the Three of Wands. 
This is the card of opportunity. It would be good to see and use all the opportunities around you. Visualize your situation as a child would, seeing it as if for the first time. Assume nothing. Question everything and everyone. A beginner's mind is an expert's tool. The seventh card in our spread today, representing what is before you, the Knight of Pentacles. This is the card of reliability. You will soon encounter or have to act as a reliable, dependable provider. A new business may start up. You may have to say or do whatever it takes to get the job done. A reliable young person may be involved. The eighth card in our spread today, representing how you present yourself, the Six of Wands. This is the card of victory. Present yourself as one who has won victory and knows why. Recognize those who can help you meet the next challenge. Celebrate your victories. Show that even though you know how fleeting it is, you can do it again. The ninth card in our spread today, representing how others see you, the Knight of Wands. This is the card of ambition. Others see you as an ambitious person. You appear to be on the move. You seem passionate and willing to take calculated risks. Some see you as unable to put down roots. A few see you as an overbearing and quarrelsome show-off. The tenth card in our spread today, representing your hopes and fears, the Ace of Swords. This is the card of triumph. You hope you can triumph over adversity and ignorance, but fear you may not have the strength to do so. You may fear the results of destroying lies and illusions, or of being too forceful. You may believe that it is not nice to assert yourself. The eleventh card in our spread today, representing the final outcome. The Four of Cups. This is the card of re-evaluation. You will see a need for re-evaluation. You may be re-evaluating the entire situation. Be aware it may be you who is the subject of the forthcoming re-evaluation. Avoid crying over spilt milk or saying, I told you so, if the opportunity arises. Thank you for joining us this week. If you'd like to keep updated on our weekly tarot readings, remember to like and subscribe. Blessed be.